Listen carefully, Bob. I didn't fire you because I feel threatened. No. Mom, what do you want me to tell you? She's making me work the weekend. I fired you because you're lazy, entitled, incompetent, and you spend more time cheating on your wife than you do in your office. Is that your family? Yes. They tell you to quit? Every single day. Miss Tate's office. And if you say another word, Andrew here is going to have you thrown out on your ass, okay? Another no. word, and you are going out of here with an armed escort. Your visa application has been denied. That, that... And you are being deported. Andrew will film it with his little camera phone, and he will put it on that internet site. What was it? YouTube. Exactly. Is that what you want? Deported? And apparently there was also some paperwork that you didn't fill out in time. Are you both committing fraud to avoid her deportation so she can keep her position as editor-in-chief at Colden Books? Come on, it's, it's not like I'm even an immigrant. I'm from Canada, for Christ's sake. Where did you hear that? We had a phone tip this afternoon from a man uh, named, Would it be uh, Bob Spaulding? Bob Spaulding. Bob. If you're deported, you can't work for an American company. Until this is resolved, I'm going to turn operations over to Bob Spaulding. Bob is nothing but a... A disgruntled former employee, and I, and I apologize. Bob Spaulding, the guy I just fired. We need an editor-in-chief. He's the only person in the building who has enough experience. Have the two of you told your parents about your secret love? Oh, I, uh, uh impossible. My parents are dead. <laughs> no brothers or sisters either, so. Gone. Uh. What, are your parents dead? Oh, no, his are, his no. are very much alive. Very, very much. much. They're, uh. Well, we we're going to tell them this weekend. We're uh, we're getting married. We are getting married. <laughs> who, who is getting married? You and I. You and who? I are getting married. We are going to Alaska. Alaska. That's where uh, that's where my little that's where my Andrew's from. Okay. Wouldn't be the first time one of us <laughs> fell for our secretaries, would it, Edwin? <laughs> Do explain. They were going to make Bob chief. So naturally, I would have to marry you. We are happy. So happy. Margaret. Yes? It's terrific. Just make it legal. Hmm? Oh! Legal. And what's the problem? Like you were saving yourself for someone special? I like to think so. Besides, it's illegal. Promote you to editor? No. Then I quit, and you're screwed. Bye-bye, Margaret. Andrew. It really has been a little slice Fine. of Andrew! Heaven. Andrew! Fine! Whose place do we stay at, yours or mine? That's easy, mine. And why wouldn't we stay at mine? Ah, uh, because I live at Central Park West. Ah, uh, will you marry me? No. Say it like you mean it. Do you prefer being called Margaret or Satan's mistress? <laughs> We've heard it both ways. I'm listening. Would you please, cherries on top, marry me? Okay. She's kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> We canceled your reservation. Family doesn't stay at a hotel. You're going to stay in our home. Oh, great. Why don't you tell us exactly what a book editor does? I mean, besides taking writers out to lunch and getting bombed. I'm not getting on that boat. You don't have to. See you in a few days. You show up here after all this time with this woman you hated, and now she's your girlfriend? We just got here. No, I can't swim. Hence the boat. She's your meal ticket, and you brought her home to meet your mother. No, 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 she's not my meal ticket, Dad. She's my fiance. Hand off ass. Off ass. What'd you say? You heard me. I'm getting married. Oh, how a man proposes says a lot about his character. As I swung open that door, there he was. Those are the pajamas you decided to bring to Alaska. Standing. Kneeling. Like a man. On a bed of rose petals. Uh, yes, because I was supposed to be in a hotel alone. Your son. And he was choking back soft, soft sobs. I have horrible service, Frank. Give me just, just uh, one minute. Oh my God, Margaret. And when he held back the tears and finally caught his breath, he said to me. Margaret, will you marry me? And she said, yep, in the end. Mm. I was hungry. Yeah. That's nice. There we go. I wish you had another son, I really do. Yeah, if you touch my ass one more time, I will cut your balls off in your sleep. One who wanted to stay here, one who wanted to take over the family business. He is my son. I only get to see him every three years because of you. 
Explain yourself, please. Explain myself? Yes, explain yourself. I was outside. Oh, really? And you didn't hear me? Now, if we're not careful, we are going to end up in this great big house. Just you and me alone. I didn't mean to jump you. Your dog was attacking me and I had to run and I... You are going to fix this, Joe. I mean it. Fix it now. See? See? Exactly. Oh. See that? Barely made it out with my life there. 